All right, boys, so you're going to have a crack at doing a bandage on your own, which is the hardest version of how you can do it. You know, obviously, it's always better to have someone with you that can help you out in an emergency. But if you're on your own, well, you've got to have a crack, haven't you? Yeah. So I'm going to give you a snake bite. Yeah. That's going to be your snake bite. Jeez, Harry, you really should have moisturised, mate. Uh, <laughs> That's yours, just above the shoe. <laughs> and we can get yours. you got yours be just right. below the knee. Righto. Check for danger. Has the snake left the area? Yes. Yes, go on. We're good. Stop and drop. Immobilise. Minimise the amount of movement you can have. Now, ideally, you've got a second person here that's going to let you be at complete rest, and I'd go for it. But you don't have that option. You do have a snake bite kit that you took Perfect. with you into the bush, Thank which you. is very clever. Very good foresight. You're going to crack that open. You're going to get the instructions out. Because at this point, you could have gone completely blank. Yeah, we... Grab we'll your instructions. You'll see that you've already stopped and dropped. The next thing you're going to do is comply, apply bandage. a compression bandage to the affected limb. So away you go, boys. Smart bandage. You can whip your shoe off. You right, do. first of all, am I giving you feedback or am I going to let you go and make mistakes? Critique as we go. I'm going to critique you. Start from the end of the limb. Okay. Simple. Keep and it shoe simple. Off. Shoe right. off. Shoe off. Whip your shoe off. You reckon right around the toes, big toes? Leave your toes exposed. Yep. Why do you want to do that? Because I want to. You want to check for circulation. Yeah. Make sure you haven't made a tourniquet yep. by accident. And this is what it looks like when you try and do this bandage for the first time ever. I like the way you're keeping oh. that bandage nice and close. Uh. Try and encapsulate the heel if you can. Uh, yep. But the fact that you've gone over, it's not the end of the world. See if you can go. Yeah. yeah. You encapsulate the heel. Wow. Well, better. Better. Now start working your way up. Pay attention to the overlap. Jamie, that's it. We only want it to just overlap because you've got quite a bit of real estate to cover with that bandage. And it's going to be quite firm. Five mil or less. Work its way up there. Great. Keep going. I like the way you're rolling it on. How are you going, Harry? <laughs> All right, mate. You've just about chewed through a whole bandage I feel... on the ankle. Oh, my God. Feels Tuck like that I'm... in. Tuck that in and reach for the next Harry's bandage. Harry's schooling you, bro. Give us a look. Tuck it in and reach <laughs> for the next bandage. Mate, I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah, Jamie, tuck that in. Just look, tuck it in, Jamie. Tuck. Oh, so we're going both, Tuck Craig. it into itself. Yep, you're getting another one. Well, I'm telling you something, mate. Start off again. You, you need to watch want your you. overlap and try and yeah, get some more coverage. Yeah, I don't want you coverage. Me, more coverage right yep. up. Spread. Here we right, go. There you go. Now, All right, Jamie, pick up where you left off, mate. Pick up. Just and pick I'm going up the leg. Yep, keep going as far as you can go. No, I don't know about you, mate, but I've got relatives that are pharaohs. <laughs> <laughs> now, that, oh, that right I'm, fe right. I'm feeling the pressure. Like it feels feels like yeah, you ought to be feeling some pressure. Feels good. How are you feeling? Feel the pressure. Feeling the pressure. Feel like the foot's pulsating. With that amount of overlap, you're going to be feeling a plen plenty amount of pressure. Uh, Jamie, that's looking excellent, mate. You can, I can tell yeah. Jamie's watched this happen before, and he's got I've a bit of this. a, he's got a bit of a plan in his head about how he's going to do it. All right, tuck that one in. Now, typically, if I, was, if I was looking after you, I'd put the good leg against the bad leg. Yep. And I would splint the two together. But since you're on your own, there's not really much else you can do apart from keeping yourself as still and as rest as possible yep. and notifying, calling in the emergency. It's very hard to get lost these days. It's very silly to be isolated without any communication. Let's assume you've got your mobile phones, you've got reception, put your phone on speaker, and as you're doing the bandaging, you're already calling for help and uh, you know, calling that emergency in. Mm. Craig, ideally, this should have gone all the way up to here, right? Ideally, it goes all the way up here. Now, because Is you've this... overlapped it so much, that's gonna be unnecessarily firm, and you're missing out of the benefit of um, constricting all this part of the leg. So when you do practice, that's what you want to try and achieve. That's, that's a really good job. It's a nice, even coverage. You're a big guy, and you've used the two bandages to their, their optimum effect there in, in that you've got the full coverage of the leg. As tempting as it might be to take that, you might say, oh, that's too much overlap and it's going to be too firm. I'd be inclined to leave it on and just pick up with another bandage here rather than take it off because when you do have the lymphatic compression, when that bandage comes off, everything lets go. Yeah. You don't want that bandage to be removed until you're sitting in hospital, the doctors have the antivenom, they're all ready to go, and then they start peeling that bandage off. 
If I didn't have a bandage, if I didn't have a snake bite kit, well, I'd be buggered. The best thing you could hope for there is to just keep yourself immobilised mm. and uh, just try and slow down that, that lymphatic flow of the venom mm. uh, into the system. Nice job. Cool. Needs some more work, but you're getting there. Yep. <laughs>